yeah. Greetings, comrades. This is I'm giving Caleb back with the first game video of 2024 and first video using the uh, Steel Series Alias microphone. Did a few audio tests with it, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm really blown away by the quality of the audio of this microphone. I dare say it's better than the Blue Yeti. And uh, the microphone's about a foot away from me, and uh, I did an audio test, it captured, my, it captured my voice very well. And, and it's especially nice I got a new microphone, because uh, Bandit Cam's been updated, and actually, I can actually adjust the uh, game and uh, mic audio separately before recording, which is really good. So technically, I can make the games as loud as I want, but uh, I'm not going to. I like to have the microphone play a little louder. CPU is even worse. But anyway, it is 2024, which means later in the year it will mark the 30th anniversary of Doom 2. Last year, I uh, played the original Doom 1 to celebrate its 30th anniversary. Now I'm doing Doom 2 for its 30th anniversary. And yeah, for those who don't know, Doom holds a special place in my heart. It's the uh, it's my favorite game series of all time. As good as the newer games are, like Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, I always go back to the originals, especially with source ports, which I still need to set them up on the AS, by the way. Um, but uh, I always go back to the original games because of the mods, all the different map packs and stuff like that. It's <laughs> it's uh it holds a pl it just holds a special place in my heart. You know, my my dad actually introduced me to Doom. Miss you, Dad. And in a way, I play this in first memory, and just because I enjoy the game, like whether it's the originals or the all the different maps and mods out there. You know, I just love Doom, and of course, I play Doom Two a lot more than Doom One because it has more content. You know, more monsters. You know, new music. Uh, textures and layouts, and of course, one of my favorite first-person shooter weapons of all time, the Super Shotgun. You know, this gun made me fall in love with break-action shotguns. Okay, uh, give me a minute, I need to turn off the FPS counter. Alright, there we go. I don't need that one. But anyway, yeah, just like with uh, Doom 1 that I did a uh, year prior, I'm going to be playing through the entire Doom 2 game in vanilla. And uh, since I'm more familiar with Doom 2 than Doom 1, I'm definitely going to have an easier time going through this. And uh, what's really cool, which um, I don't know if I mentioned this about the uh, Doom gameplay I played the last year, but uh, I'm playing through the Unity port, which with Doom 2, we had the original Hell on Earth plus the Master Levels. Not only that, but you go to the Add-ons folder, you can actually download some other map packs from other people, though you don't have nearly as much uh, variety as going to, you know, Doom World. And uh, as you see right here, Sigil 2 just came out. Look forward to playing that. Which, uh, I'm playing Sigil 1 while back. Yeah, Sigil 2 recently came out. I definitely gotta try that out. But uh, that's not this series. We are playing original Vanilla Doom. They're a lot different than, uh, in the easy. Alright, give me one sec. I need to adjust the, uh, here. always run. Barrels only support DualShock 4 controllers, which, uh, yeah, not. So I guess we'll be playing this with the dual sense. Cool. The gameplay, I'm sure. It's good. I guess it's 60. Maybe you can access cheats, but I'm not going to. Just used to playing always run. Such a fun game. You know, Perch. You know, playing it in the original Xbox, the Doom 3 Collector's Edition, and playing the Xbox Live Arcade versions on the 360, and then playing it again on Steam. And it's of course having access to source ports. It's, it's quite the experience, you know. I love Doom. Especially Doom 4. 
Okay, no, I need to change the controls too. Okay, so let's see. Mouse button. Okay, use space. Okay, it's very easy to use the space because, you know, I'm not using GZ Doom. It's kind of tricky getting into getting Source Pros to work through Steam. There are some tutorials online, which then we gotta check that out. I think the secret here. Rocket launcher. There we go. Alright, so I might as well explain what I've been doing for the last few weeks. Well, other than building Antea. So basically, uh, my father was cremated. And uh, he's back home. Urn's right next to my mother's. But, uh,. My sister is looking for a good companion urn so they can find both of their ashes. What way my mother and father could be together, even in death. There we go. And I'm doing a few, uh, other legal issues. Um, basically, um, We need to. There needs to be a court hearing sometime next, uh, within the next few days, where we have to go to downtown and uh, have the will probated, but know that the the house belongs to me and my nephew. Though so, before they actually do anything, the deed we have to go downtown to pay the uh, estate tax. But uh, this week alone, I've been. Uh, Went to the funeral home, get the death certificates, then uh, had to contact the Air Force, post office, and uh, Social Security in order to close his accounts to prevent any overpayments. And uh, my uncle down in Florida was working with uh, getting a fridge of the VA. My dad was a veteran, served in the Air Force, and you know was exposed to Agent Orange. That's how he got his cancer, and decided that's why he's no longer with us. Because we're not having house look. You know, emulates the original. The most has squared away, and uh, most of my nephew and I have been uh, trying to, you know, bounce out. You know, who's gonna pay the, which bills to pay, and uh, you know, where you know where to go to pay the insurance and taxes for the house. All right. Yes. You're on out. <laughs> it's smooth sailing. Don't run out of ammo, of course, because you know. Get really trigger happy with the super shotgun. Anyone who's watched my Doom videos for the last like couple years knows that. And I've been uh, taking care of some stuff around the house, you know. I had to install some water hammer arresters on the washing machine. Because uh, ever since we got that new washing machine, we've been getting water hammers every time we uh, turn on the washing machine. And now they're not nearly as prevalent. In fact, they're as long as you're not using just hot water, it's okay. That's something to keep in mind. And uh, we're taking some other stuff. Uh, we're trying to, you know, drain out the water heater of any sediments and stuff. Because you know, since we live in the Panhandle, there's a lot of calcium deposits in the water, so. That and a bunch of rocks and stuff, so we got to to drain it out, keep it from building up. Alrighty. And, person, uh, wasn't getting groceries, you know. Sorting the house out, you know, trying to find some good memorabilia to put on the shrine for my dad. And the big thing, waiting for the companion urn. Which my sister's still trying to find a good one. Which I trust her with the decision. You know. Really terrible. I'm losing just a few days before Christmas. But at least he died with his family by his side, just like my mother. But he had the luxury of dying in the comfort of his own home. 
It's sad my mother didn't have that luxury because, you know, she had COVID and she had sweat of machinery and stuff to just to be able to breathe, but nothing they could do could save her, so, you know. That's what it is. They can't save everybody. I know it sounds grim, but this is the harsh reality. The doctors and nurses, not miracle workers. But, yeah. Since then, I've been doing some healing. I've made my peace already. I've accepted the loss. And so have my sisters and the rest of the family. You know, we're trying to move on from it. But, you know, being like normal like I am, I'm getting back into YouTube and if I'm enjoying I'm getting some Penteus now. So guys, so guy decided to build build it when I did. If I ever need to upgrade anything, all I need to do is just get a new CPU or GPU. Like if I want to get a 7800 X 3D, I can because it's an AM5 socket and it's an AM5 motherboard. And that AK620 core is working wonders. I'm trying to talk and play the same game. I need to focus on being fucked up. But I can't open it. We got a full spear. Alright, let me adjust the sensitivity. I didn't mean to quit. That's one thing I hate about the Unity port. Like, when you click quit, it doesn't say, are you sure you want to quit, yes or no? No, it just quits out. Let's go on hate out to rough this time. I meant to click on options. Just the sensitivity a little bit, it's a little faster. I'm used to playing GZ Doom, so the hospital's a little faster. Yeah, as I mentioned it previously, I've been dealing with some congestion the last few days, and for the most part, it's going away. And, uh, Using the humidifier with some vapo steam, fix. Well, I know went through like five boxes of Kleenex last week alone, and also getting those little vapo shower tablets. For the most part, I'm pretty much okay. No, uh, nephew also dealing with congestion as well as a little diarrhea came out of nowhere. But he's doing he's, he's back at work again. No secret wall. Okay. Audio is going well, and not too much uh, background noise to the mic. It is a condenser mic. Never can't hear the PC, which, by the way, yeah, if you're planning on building a new PC, I highly recommend getting the Pure Base 500 FX for Be Quiet. It's a really good case to work in. And if you get the FX version, it has four RGB fans, you already get a good amount of airflow. But I decided to get two more fans just to have maximum airflow. And uh, depending on what software you're using for your motherboard, you can actually adjust the fan speed so it's all, it can be like normal or silent. Or if you're a psychopath, you can go full speed all around. Definitely smooth sailing from here since it's not easy difficulty. I unknowingly 
I mistakenly quit the game when I was trying to go to the options menu. If they, up, if they update the Unity ports for the new games, have an option. When you already said quit, make sure you said, are you sure you want to quit? Yes or no? That's really annoying. That's what happened to me when I was doing the Doom videos a year, a year back. Now it happened again. Yeah. Yeah, this this Be Quiet case here, I'm a huge fan of it now. Love that tempered glass side panel. And the other side panels, plenty of room for cable management. And I definitely recommend the FX, the Kirby's 500 FX, because it comes, not only does it come with four fans, it also comes with an RGB fan header, which you can get up to six fans to it. And of course, the button on the case itself lets you go through a variety of uh, color modes and stuff like that. I heard there's like programs out there where you have even more flexibility, but I'm kind of fine with it the way it is. As long as it's black and blue, I don't care what other effects there are. Definitely fire some uh, Ultimate Upgrade Simulator 2 and Teardown. We're going to be getting videos of those later on. And uh, Teardown, there's still slowdown, but it's not nearly as bad as on Proteus. Because remember, Proteus, I had a, uh, had, still have a Ryzen 5 3600, no chip. Which I might upgrade to a 7000 series chip if there's an AM4 compatible in this pocket. And perhaps get a new cooler. <coughs> but yeah, Ryzen 5 3600 and an old RTX 2060. It's still a good card, but, uh, you know, 2000 series of RTX cards is kind of long in the tooth, so, yeah. That's why I decided to bite the bullet and get a 4070. Not regret it. Yeah, I could have waited for the 47 supers, but uh Even the regular 4070 is good enough for my need. And yeah. I processed that little example video much faster than on the 3600. The 7700 x it gets it done in like half the time. Well, color me impressed. Of course. Oh! That backpack. What's no ammo? The uh, yeah, I got it four. I don't know why I can get it now, but see, I'm playing with like a source, but all I have to do is just jump, like let her jump. But guess what? You can't jump in the original Doom. So yeah, I, I got it the first time. Why can't I get it now? It'd be at a certain angle. Still using the steel suit up. I really like the keyboard, though. The uh, space bar is really sensitive. I barely, I barely touch it; it'll register. It's a good thing I kept my uh, Logitech peripherals. May or may not switch back to those, but uh, I'm curious how uh, Logitech G is going to run the new computer. You know, if it works fine and doesn't have any problems, and maybe my opinion will change on it. But for now, I think I'll stick with Steel Series. I do like the Rival 600, but yeah, just like the space bar in the Apex 7, the space, the wheel button. Very sensitive. Like, I did. Sometimes I'll open a separate window in my browser, and I didn't even notice it. Like, you know, a lot of browsers, and when you press the wheel button on your mouse, it'll open a separate tab. 
need it. Yeah, I need to fix the controls, man. I'm, I can't do... Okay, next weapon... No, R is not in use. I don't use Q, so... Yeah, that'll work. Okay. This will be a little comfortable for me. There. See, so yeah, now that Antaeus has been built, um, there aren't going to be too many big purchases. Because, like I said in my uh, return video, I'm going to be a lot more conservative with my spending. Because now I'm going to be paying bills, of course, setting money aside for the house insurance and taxes. Which my nephew's also chipping in, because we both live in the house now. We both own the house. So, uh, um, still got to get the deed thing sorted out. Which my sister and brother had a ladybird deed set up. They had an attorney where they lived that helped set it up. But, uh,. The attorney failed to tell us that we had to submit the Ladybird deed before my father passed. We submitted it just days after he passed, and we were to file it. Um, it wouldn't actually go through officially, so we had to speak to the attorney, which we, which we did a few days later. This was like the day before I went back to work. And, uh, yeah, the will has to be probated. This is going to be a, a court hearing in the next week or so. Let's hope we'll get that sorted out. But pretty much the bigger thing for me is closing down my dad's retirement accounts and stuff like that, which uh, I already contacted the post office and Air Force. But hopefully they'll uh, send us the forms we need to fill out in order to uh, go through with it. And uh, Prince, another big thing is uh, filing his final taxes, which... Uh, I'm gonna have to speak of a, a tax lawyer for that, because, uh, well, I know next to nothing about my father's tax. Like, I barely keep up with my own tax. Like, I don't know if tax lawyer is gonna help me with this, but my sister's gonna be, uh, find a tax lawyer to help with that. So I gotta wait for the rest of his forms to come in. Well, I'm still waiting for my W-2s to so start filing my taxes. You know, it comes with being an adult. Like I got saying, it's time to put your big boy pants on. But, uh, you know, they've been on me for a while because, well, a fat fuck, so it makes sense. I might not use the space being jump, but again, there's no jump in the classic game, so... Here, I'm gonna save real quick. There we go. Now, I kind of want to waste using the double barrel shotgun on just one enemy, but... It's just so satisfying. You know, for actual fans that are actually wondering about me, I'm I'm doing okay. Like I said, I made my peace, and uh, you know, my nephew and I are getting by. We're doing everything we can to uh, you know make sure the bills are paid, make sure you know utilities are taken care of, and stuff like that. You know, pilly things around the house. You know, stuff we normally did when Dad was still with us, and we're still doing it. It's just uh, you know. One less family member in the house now, which is, you know, even though I'm over it, you know, I think about it every day just like my mother. You make your peace the loss and still, uh, you know, think about it every now and then. It's just a natural thing. Uh, 
Okay. That's not very easy to do into that platform. Run. Yeah, I forgot to set up. I forgot to mess with the uh, settings on Bandicam. I'm gonna start uh, recording in higher quality uh, video. I might as well get that stick to get out of the way. Uh, can I have both buttons to be activated? There's no jumping, so I might as well use it for that. Okay, I guess this will work. I thought using just E for activate would work out, but no. See, that, that closes too fast, and you don't move fast enough. And the narrowness of that walkway is not helping. Like, see? I'm not gonna bother, it's not even worth it. I get a plaza gun and another map. Okay, we're gonna play total tricks and traps. We'll uh call it. <coughs> I think that thing is hard to get. This one here. Pretty much how to be running at an exact angle, otherwise. Mm. Okay, he's been up there. Like, I can't cheese it with source ports, like, uh, you know, you just jump up there, but no. Again, no jumping in Classic Doom, so. You gotta do it the old fashioned way. I'm not 100%ing these maps, I'm just playing through them. I can see. Yeah, hard to spider master mine. It's a good squished either way. There's a plasma gun right here. Didn't squish him. Okay. I feel like you run slow in the community port. Maybe it's because I'm so used to playing Jeezy Doom. Embracing myself is uh well. I think I'm not up north because uh going on with the winter storms that are ravaging a lot of the country right now, and uh we're just barely getting grazed by it in a few days. But it's still gonna be fucking cold. Like, low's gonna be in the single digits. It won't be sub-zero, thank God. It's gonna be cold. Like the highs only gonna be in like the high 20. You know, as long as it's not, as long as the roads aren't icy or anything like that, I don't mind it being cold. Like I say, a lot of time at work, you know, in the winter time you can put a lot on, but in the summertime you can only take so much off.
Great, I don't run a right angle. These goodies. The most important games I've been playing until so far have been getting back to the cyberpunk, of course. Ray Tracing and Ultra. Oh man. Everybody's as amazing as I thought it'd be. But for the most part, I've been playing Honey Select 2. Because I'm a lonely virgin. I think later on I'm gonna bite Mortal Kombat 1. But I still need to bit the story mode for Mortal Kombat 11 so I can at least get the story elements out of the way. I don't think it matters at this point since the story like all over the place. Mortal Kombat these days. It's kind of dark. Let me raise the. I think it's because of the sunlight flicking on the screen. But yeah, now that Antaeus is sorted out and everything's settled in, um, hope I'll be back to my regular schedule with Shmup Saturdays and uh, doing control reviews and stuff like that. Let's go back into Swing of Doom, and of course, uploading new videos and getting back to some games like uh, Great BeamNG Drive. I'm gonna do Ravenfield videos again, World Box. Of course, I'm gonna add to that with a Teardown, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, and maybe a few other games that tickle my fancy. Okay. You have entered deeply into the infested starport. Something is wrong. Monsters have brought their own reality with them. The starport's technology is being subverted by their presence. Head, the outpost of hell, fortified zone. You can get past it, penetrate the haunted heart of the starbase, and find the controlling switch which holds Earth's population hostage. I was supposed to say, did it crash? Like, surely, surely classic Doom won't crash. Yeah, I have 963 gigabytes of storage left on the M.2. Which means plenty of room for Bandicam books. I think a long time ago that partial visibility only affects a, only affects a hit scan enemies. Projectile enemies, you gotta go with the gold fashion dodging. So we'll stock up here. Stuff. I forgot this is a Unity port, and they changed the red crosses to uh, green. They don't associate a murderous space marine with uh, the American Red Cross. If you play the original Doom 2 and like source boards and stuff, then it's unchained. Alrighty, and I'll go ahead and save it here. So yeah, that's part one of Doom 2. Celebrate its 30th anniversary. Feeling Caleb signing out. Good day. Suck it up, life's tough, we know that. Someone's got better stuff and can throw cash. Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path. I don't need no handouts, I'm my own man. Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it in fast, yeah. Got a girl and she'll get it, get it, she bet, yeah. Man, I only get down with the best, on. Uh. I'ma leave the complaints with the rest, uh.